Alright then, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, we're already mid-turn, as far as I'm aware I've just taken out the last of the Space Mafia, let's say as far as I'm aware, upgrading my star bases, acquiring resources, which I should now be able to do a lot more of, I mean a lot more of, now those Space um, Mafia starports should, in theory, be out of the way. And yet for whatever reason, even though the Space Mafia only had two planets, it didn't tell me that their empire had been destroyed. So I am left wondering what on earth is even going on. Polonia is going to pick on them as well. Have I just solved like four nations problems in one turn? actually going to attempt an attack. Sardinian so Empire is defeated. But there's no worlds left under your command. How are you still operating? Surely all those ships should be deleted unless there's another world I don't know about. What the hell? I can't speak to them. Report. What? There is some really weird shit going on here. Alright, fine. Wipe out the last of their stuff. <laughs> just sideways beams come in from the edge of the galaxy and just blow everything up. What's in there? Transport. So is that why it's not classifying them as destroyed? Because they still had a civilian populace aboard that star? I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Just fragged a lot of them. Supposing that method is a lot more realistic because even if you've destroyed the civilization, their ships are still around. But really, okay, tech tree. What comes first? Plasma. Okay, let's research plasma weapons then. Wait, what? What's it just put me on? Alright, energy phasing is after plasma. Okay. Right, so, what else is there that I don't know about? Well, I just clear out the last of the Space Mafia holdings. Okay, guys, if you could scoot along that way. 17 stacked ships, two turns left. Well, at least I can turn that into two ships. You know, two ships dead. There we go. Oh yeah, all my star bases that can now have disruptor pods put on them. Uh, oh yeah, more mega builders were on the way, weren't they? Uh, so we sent one over there. So now we must have to go over there. Right, cool. You 
Wow, 30 antimatter from just one. Uh, right, let's chuck credits at that one. Get that starbase out of the way because that is going to be a massive boost to my Illyrium supplies. I could always use more Illyrium. All of these star bases that now need disruptor banks. I forgot about you, me. Did I purchase you or did I place you so I could strike a different target? I'm not sure. Oh well, such is life. We will carry on with plasma projection. So when are the Space Mafia going to be logged as destroyed? Is there still a transport in amongst that pile of stacked chips? these all shit go to your ships? <laughs> yeah they are. God, they're like the shittiest ships in the universe. What have we got then? They were meant to be brown originally so they look like giant flying turds. Oh well. Oh. Well they're, they, they seem to be setting course for... Space Mafia has been destroyed. Two turns later. So what the hell are all these guys? Pirate units, right, okay. That means those stations... No, they're now pirate stations. Fuck's sake! <laughs> Oh well, at least I now have the opportunity to build new ones in their place once I burn the old ones down. Get myself more Illyrium, more of pretty much just everything. Particle beam and a point defence. And that's a medium class ship? Wow, you guys just have no idea what miniaturisation is in any way, shape or form, do you? One ship is capable of taking out the pile. Rejoin the fleet. It was a fun thought experiment, but you know. It's just the level of just. This isn't even an easy level game. These are all gifted level AIs. And I'm still running goddamn circles around them in terms of tech and ships. You know, something like this might actually be a threat to me, but these guys are just... Shit. <laughs> Continue to chew through their remaining... Okay, there should only be two left now. Oh no, last one. God for that. So let's go and get these pirate star bases then. Meanwhile, if you wouldn't mind building me just a boatload of mega builders. Oh, yeah, Britannia star base. Oh, there's going to be a lot of influence coming out of there. So you were going to go to that one. Let's 
so oh he's already arrived and I've just clicked off by mistake come on back over here please Suppose I could. Uh, wait, do you need anything? No, you're good. Put that wherever the hell I damn well please. And that looks like a good location to put you. Alright, so over hither. Alright, cool. And call our tits Starbase needs an upgrade. Oh well, fair enough. We'll get it done. We will get it done. Pardon me. And again. actually thinking about it if any other race that I take down is going to be this much of a pain after I've gotten rid of their primary you know for lack of any other way to put it home worlds control centers we are going to need a new type of vessel to deal with this I think it's time I went back to the Starship Designer with my fancy new guns. I think it's time I finally put the Tyrant into this game. For those who don't know what the Tyrant is, the Tyrant class carrier was one of my... Well, it wasn't the first, but it was one of the first group of the... Uh, as I put them, the meaner design of Scythian ships, where basically the gloves came off and the Empire decided it wasn't fucking around anymore. Yeah, I'll get around to them in due time. So I'm actually going to build a completely new design for this. I'm not like the Monarch classes, which are just rehashes of old design. This is going to be something new. So I need a large-scale hull. Not a medium, large. And all I need for the center of you is something large and box like. Uh, that'll do. So let's scale you up to about 200. Scale you up to about 200 as well, and then offset you. Hopefully, oh, for fuck's sake, I always get the X, Y, and Z wrong because it always changes when I try and use them. Yep. So we move it forward by 35. Uh, right. So that will be the adjoining bridge between the two sections. Scale you up to 165. Offset you down a little bit. Offset you down by about two. Perfect. Forward by six. Because that is going to be the internal bridge for the fighter launch base. So now we can actually increase the scale a little bit more. Right, there we go. So that will form the basic shape for the internals. Now what I need is a flat plate. A large flat plate. Oh, 
almost perfect. So we need to scale that up to the point where the flat plate is large enough to cover Okay, yep, that works for me. Back by 20, down. Fifteen. Nice, what happens if I mirror you? Oh, nice, it almost sets up the shape perfect. So what I need is just to fill, that side gap, nice, that didn't mirror, right, cool, oh no, it did mirror, but only on the one side, right, okay, 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 I know what I need to do now, so if I put you on there, and then, offset you preferably in the right direction without being an enormous prick to be where those two meet okay I need to keep the length while extending it a little wider and a little longer so I need to offset or possibly no I do need to offset is it possible I need to make yeah I think I need to make one of those edges a little bit thinner Yeah, that works for me. So if you would kindly be mirrored. Yep. Because that is the two launching bays across the side. So what we now need to do is the bridge of the craft. So 250, we're going to offset it by making it go a little further forward. Down a little bit. we're going to get to work on the rest of the frontal sections so let's actually use one of these and if I can get the shape right I can actually use that for weapon emplacements okay that's quite cool so if I mirror that and then offset it backwards into the hull Okay, looking good. Alright. Put that there and use it as a sensor type block. Offset it forward just a little. to start with placing the engines huh. okay it works for me so equip with hyperwarp drive. So 
So it's already giving us 200 move. Right, if you wouldn't mind offsetting on the Y axis just a little bit so it mixes with the rest of the craft. Awesome. And what I want to do first is carrier modules. So, what are we looking at? Oh. In terms of size and space. So 71.3, 35. So drone, two drone modules on that side, two drone modules on that side. So it launches eight drone fighters at any given time. So in terms of weaponry, we're going to give it one, two, three, four disruptor banks. Did I put more disruptors on instead of armour? I did. I'm a twit. Right, I'll get some ECM on there. Okay. I'd have loved to have got some life support on there. But somehow I can't help but get the feeling I'd be trading the number of fighters the bastard thing can launch. What the hell can I even do with it? Okay, we're going to go with the Tyrant Mark I for now. But I'm not entirely satisfied with it. Okay, we've got another mega builder over there. If you wouldn't mind going to the Kulatis, or were you already on your way to Kulatis? Oh, you're on your way to the other Kulatis. Alright, okay. And then over here, if you could build me. Wow, well, one turn for a tyrant. Entirely new class of ship, never before built. Yeah, we can do it in a week. Right, hit that turn button. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. And we'll, whoa, oh yeah, I forgot about it. Yeah, 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 kill that first. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you in the next episode. Ta-ra for now.